Hello everyone, and welcome back into our weekly City Skylines tutorial series. This week we're going to be covering a question that I get asked a lot, especially with larger cities, and that is using crematoriums versus using cemeteries versus using both in tandem with each other. So in order to accomplish this, we're going to be loading up a city that I have uh, here in my save files. Just pick one that we've worked on here and there, and we will get down to the reasons why I do what I do, explain the metrics behind it, explain the money behind it, and show you guys the sensible choice, and then you can make your own decision off of that. Let's load this city right here up, and let's get started. One of the biggest problems in City Skylines that people come across is how to handle garbage, but more so how to handle your death care. Death care in a city can be very intimidating and very daunting to take care of, especially when you don't understand how the facilities work and it leads people to do multiple things that causes issues with their city, especially when it comes to making income and having your upkeep be balanced, that way your citizens remain happy and you can continue building your city. Let's take a look at a couple of the stats for the death care facilities and we'll use that in our calculations, show you the good and the bad about both. Now here we have the City Skylines Wiki pulled up, and this is going to be the comparisons of all the healthcare buildings and your, your death care buildings. We're going to be looking at two main ones. We're going to be looking at the cemetery and the crematorium. Disregard the fact that it has a patient capacity, as these do not hold patients, these hold dead. This is a really helpful tool because it shows you when you unlock it, how much it costs, your upkeep, and all other relevant stats about the items. What I've done is I've made an Excel spreadsheet to kind of highlight the cost differences between the two. And then I'm going to go into explaining why I do what I do in my cities. So here's an Excel sheet. We base it off of an oil power plant and a basic water pump. And you can see here the cemetery and the crematorium both have their sizes calculated. The initial cost is not calculated into our weekly upkeep or our sell cost. And you can see that per 10,000 dead people, your cemeteries are going to run $540 a week. And your crematoriums are going to run almost $70,000 a week. Now you're going to look at these numbers and think, holy cow, that's extreme. It is because these two buildings serve two different purposes. The cemetery is made to hold the dead and the crematorium is there to process the dead. In my city, what I usually do is I build a cemetery and then I put a crematorium right next to it and I treat this as garbage, which is how it's programmed into the game. Once the cemetery fills up, you go to empty it and it empties into the crematorium for processing. The reason why we have crematoriums here full time is because while these are not running, these need to be able to handle the demand from the rest of the city. These are great to put into residential areas because it increases the level of the buildings because it's additional services that surround it. It also increases land value and it also gives the Sims a final resting place and one thing to note that I've read on the internet that I can't quite confirm is true is that there are going to be citizens who prefer not to be cremated initially when they die. So it's going to have a natural demand for cemeteries in your city. If you notice everywhere I have one, I put an additional one. Now during death waves, you're going to probably have an overabundance of people passing away and your vehicles won't be able to take it. For that reason, I would always advise to have a crematorium kind of every so often in order to accompany the extra demand and to process the bodies accordingly. Note that we follow the same criteria that we did with our landfills. This is before Sunset Harbor DLC. Our landfills fill up with garbage and then these incinerators process the garbage afterwards while we're emptying the landfills. It's the same feature, same function, but with people who are passed away. I will admit, it is weird to think of dead people as garbage, but in this game, for the functionality purposes, it works exactly the same. <laughs> and no real lives were lost during the playing of City Skylines. Using this information though is, is very beneficial because I argue that if you covered your city in only crematoriums that you would be paying a lot more per week and you would also be building a lot more as well because in order for you to take care of 10,000 residences, you are going to need to build, or 10,000 dead, you're going to need to build 95 crematoriums and at 9 tiles apiece, that's 857 tiles of city space that you have to take to take care of your death care. If we were to use cemeteries only, it would be considerably less because it would be 10,000 divided by the 3,000 that they hold. It would be just right around four and four at 80 tiles is only 320. So it's one third of the space. 
By looking at the spreadsheet, you also know there's more than one third of the upkeep and also a very huge difference when it comes to handling death waves. I run both in tandem, so the calculation is gonna be a little bit uh, shifted one way or the other, but having the crematoriums in there to handle the bulk of the dead is the best way to build your city if you wanna maximize space in your town. Now, if you are just building just to, just to build and you don't care, some people like to take an errant road and run it out here outside of their city and, and just do lines of crematoriums. And this is how they function with their city and that's how they process the dead. You can do that. There's nothing keeping you from doing that. But you have to make sure that when you do your, your zoom out shot and you show people your very beautiful city that you do not include that. Or else it's going to be a giant eyesore and people are going to wonder why you did such a crazy thing to begin with. But that being said, at the end of the day, however you build your city is your own. Let me know in the comments how you approach death care if you want to. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments as well. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're growing the channel. We're putting out new cities content every single week. And we would love to have you guys involved as much as possible. Thank you for watching. Look forward to next Wednesday for some more cities content. And if you can't wait that long, you can come by my Twitch stream, twitch.tv forward slash Taradra, where we try to stream City Skylines Fridays and Saturdays every week. But that is it for me this time. Once again, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, and goodbye.